Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Lena Schulman, and today I'm gonna to demonstrate one of my absolute favorite hip opening exercises. This can is an all level exercise, so bear with me. I'm gonna give you lots of modifications if it looks too advanced for you. But yes, you will need to be, have to get on the floor on a yoga mat. This is a harder exercise to do on your bed. You need a really supportive surface. So all that this exercise looks like is like this. So we're just gonna take both of our legs and angle them towards one position. Now this can be a lot harder for some people than it looks because you need to have good hip flexibility or you're gonna find that your body wants to do this and your knees wanna come up. By the same token, this is a really important thing because it's moving both of your hips at the same time. So in order to make this exercise easier, all that we're gonna do is have you do something called posting yourself. So there's a few different things you can do. One is you can just put your hands behind you and just use your hands on the ground, keeping your shoulders up to try to keep your body straight because we definitely don't want you in this position if it's causing you to slump backwards. We really want your chest high and sitting right up on your sits bones like this. If it's still too hard for you, grab yourself some pillows and you can put them under actually both knees. This will take a lot of pressure out of your hips. You can use a thinner pillow than this. You can use them on both knees, you can use them on one knees, you can still use the post from behind and just sit yourself up in this position. Of course, we want you to be able to do both sides of this. So we're gonna have you switch and go over to the other side. So, th so I'm gonna get this out of the way. So there's a few different ways that you can switch positions. So you can do what I just did, which is just to take your feet up and then take them back to the other side and then do the same thing, take them up. Taking the back to the side, holding each side for three or four deep breaths as you can feel a nice deep stretch. The other way that you can switch sides is actually by keeping your feet on the ground. So this is a little bit, a, definitely a little bit harder and a little bit more ab engagement. Again, you can use your hands on the ground or you can do it without. And all that we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip back and forth. Okay, flipping back and forth, you can see that while I may lean back as I flip, my spine stays straight. So I'm not down and through here, I'm up and through here. You, if, you're, if you're more flexible, if you're more coordinated than me, you can do that with or without your arms on the ground. And then, last but not least, the way to make this into an incredibly good ab exercise is to lift your feet up into the air. So let's see if I'll be able to do this on this uneven ground. So all that you're gonna do is you're gonna sit in this position, Take a few deep breaths. Now, without curving my lower back, staying tall, all I'm gonna do is take my legs up and switch positions. Holding it up, taking a few deep breaths, take my legs up, switch position. Okay, you can speed this up, you can slow it down. You can see that after you've done that for a little bit, you'll notice that that is an incredible ab exercise. And we really like it because so many of the ab exercises people are using these days are stationary or involve crunching their body forward. And we don't really use our abs in that manner in real life. So this will give you some amazing strength to work through your daily life. So we hope you really enjoyed that. Give that a go. It's one of our favorite hip opening exercises. If you like this video, please press like below and subscribe to our channel for more great info.